Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. We give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh. And only Him alone. And we magnify His Son, Amashiach Yahweh Shai. So today is about the second day of the new year. So called April 11th. So you see? People chopping, cleaning up to plant maize. So it's begun. Change of season. See, yesterday I showed you sun. Today no sun, but I give thanks. I'm still sweating. So as we do this morning walk, we just ask the most plead, not ask. Because we're not worthy enough to do that. So we're just pleading to the most high to bless Israel, to keep Israel, and to watch over Israel. We plead to the most high to forgive Israel. And remember his covenant that he made with our father, which is Father Abraham, Father Isaac, and Abba Jacob. To remember that we are his children, we are his unmade. And just as the scripture said in the prayer, we forgive all our debtors. We are the Most High can forgive us. So we just want to give thanks. We live to see you next year. Hey, I'm living to see these years from 90s. But we give thanks every day. Because we know our salvation draw it near. You understand me? You can feel it. You can taste it. Salvation draw it near. So Yahweh, give thanks. I wake up this morning and I was watching the news. I say Russia still bombing Ukraine. <laughs> they say Russia pounding on a city. America reluctant to give any more aid because all that was a scam. And Russia hold out. Right? I see Amalek and Gaza still going at it. I could have swear here that they were pulling out. I don't know. That's, that's their problem. Their problem is not my problem. Right? Then I see flooding happening in Europe. You understand me? I say in America, I was watching um, Al Jazeera and they were telling me about the crisis in America in terms of the water, what our people consuming. Listen, man. That's why once I always said, for our brothers and sisters in the major city, you have to pull out, man. You understand me? Because the water, they said, no, more lead is in this water than what was in Flint, Michigan. So they're poisoning us every way and every means necessary. Because these white people can drink it, you know, because they are base people. But when we drink that lead, in the water, listen, they even teach us that if you wear lead shoes, it will, your entire feet will be damaged. But just imagine, we drinking the lead. So, this is what happened when the curse come upon us, man. The most I said, we have to serve our enemies in food and in clothing and in want of all things. And then this is what's happening. So my brothers and sisters, me growing up in Jamaica, we used to go to spring. If we don't go to the spring for water, we will not drink water. Likewise, rain. But for some reason, my grandparents would only allow us to drink the fresh rain water. Like if the rain fall today, We'll drink that water today. But normally, we need water to drink. We have to go to the spring. And that's why water name mineral. You understand me? Because you drink the water, you get all natural mineral from it. That's why now, the food don't have no substance. Because when you eat these things, you must be energized. You understand me? We must be energized, but 
most of this food we eat as soon as we eat it we want to sleep you understand me it, it done more damage for our immune system than good so for new year these are just some of the things we have to look on you understand me I know what everything is expensive but at least try to buy natural spring water you understand me if you're in Babylon for brothers and sisters outside Babylon try your best to find a spring and take some of that water man because the healing come from the earth if the Bible tell you the herb and the tree is the healing of the nation where the tree grow you get water and nutrition from the earth so even we ourselves, we have to try to go to a spring. If we don't have bowhole, you understand me? Like all praises to the most high, I drink water from my bowhole. Because that water now we give you what? Natural mineral. It come directly from the soil. Because I was saying, growing up in Jamaica, in the 80s, early 90s, we have to go to river for water. You understand me? And when we go to the river for water, if we don't see shrimp, crayfish, crawfish, or a frog in the water, we will not drink that water. So if sometime you go there and you see the frog in the water, we call it bullfrog. You understand me? Something that we don't like. But my grandfather said, the frog has to be in the water to preserve it. If nothing is in the water, it's not good. There's no life in it. Just imagine that. We grew up on those morals. We grew up. That my grandfather's still alive. He born in 1921. He's still alive. He's 100 and plus. You understand me? And where he live in Jamaica, they still don't have running water. So I guess my uncle or one of his son might still be going to the same spring for water. He's 100 and plus. He born October 5, 1921. Still alive. You understand me? So we know those morals. Say, listen, life has to be in the water for we to drink the water. But now look at what we're drinking. We go buy a plastic bottle of water or a sachi bag of water that put them there in the sun for months, years. We don't know who care for the water. And the white man now tell us that the natural water from the soil is not good enough for us it's not healthy for us so he put it through a machine and by him putting it through a machine what he do he destroy all the minerals in that water and then he put it in a bottle good morning and then he put purified water on it do you see what taking place certain place in america it's illegal to catch rain water you understand me so this is where we at brothers and sisters so for this new year, this is something we just have to think on in terms of our eating a bit. You understand me? And leave that rice alone, man. Too much rice ain't good. You understand me? So try slow down on that rice in, in your diet, especially that white rice, man, bleach. You understand me? So if we try to eliminate, because every, I hear many nutrition talk and many nutrition will tell us, what is good for you? Eat fruit, eat this, eat that. Which is good. But then now, the chemicals that are on the fruits, that's not even safe. You understand me? The chemical on the chickens, that's not even safe. So as a people, it's hard for everybody. So what we have to do, we have to try eliminate what we can eliminate. You understand me? We have to try our best, brothers and sisters to do that so for now work on what build your body what energize your body you understand me the food is supposed to give you energy off the roof look at a monkey um what you call it chimpanzee um gorilla look how big that gorilla is you understand me and that gorilla will eat some bananas and he tear the female gorilla ass up. By what? By what he eat? Bananas. The real bananas and those stuff. 
should give you energy off the roof. You understand me? So, let's just consider. And then when you do it in the name of the Most High, Yahweh Shai, He will bless it. Get your vitamins, get your herbs, and come off of the doctor medication. You understand me? Doctors fail us big times, man. So, some put them trust in all these stuff. But we will put our trust in the herbs and the most high Yahweh by Yahweh Shai. So as I continue this walk, brothers and sisters, we say Happy New Year and all praises. We live to see our next new year. Keep in mind, Passover and um, April 23rd at sundown. So remember your contribution, remember your donation, remember your prayers, remember to steadfast and watch and pray.